In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and control email accounts in .NET and C Sharp applications. We're going to use the free email API mailslurp.com to create custom email servers on demand and then use them in our C Sharp and .NET applications to send and receive email. Let's get started. So here I have a new .NET project in Writer, and what we need to do first is add the dependencies we're going to use. So I'm going to open up NuGet. I'm going to add uh, mail slurp, and we're going to use this to create mail servers, and then we can send and receive emails from those servers in our code. So we'll add the dependency there, and we're also going to add a mail kit. So we'll use that to connect to SMTP servers. So let's add that as well. Right, okay, so while that installs, um, in order to create a server, first we need to configure the mail slip API. So let's do that now. I'm going to write um, config equals new configuration um, with a mail slip client. And we need to set an API key. Um, add, and we need to set X API key like this. And we want to put in our mail slip API key here. So um, if we go back to mailslip.com and log into the dashboard um, at app.mailslip.com, we can fetch our API key from the dash. And we're gonna use that in our code to uh, authenticate our client. Okay, so now we have a, our mail slurp API configured. Let's create a new inbox for it. Um, so we can do that. We'll move these into the test. And let's say var inbox equals, and we need to use the uh, inbox controller here. So let's say inbox controller equals new inbox controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new email address. It's going to be a real email address, and then we can control it in C Sharp. So let's say create inbox with uh, options like that. And we can say new um, create inbox DTO, and we can pass in some options. So let's give it a name, test name like this. And let's give it a type. So we want it to be a um, SMTP inbox type. That means we can access it over SMTP um, using MailKit later. Um, we can also use the MailSurf API directly, and we're going to do that first. Okay, and now why don't we just assert that the uh, mailbox has an email address. So we'll say uh, email address should or does contain, and we're just going to put a test value in there foo, um, just so we can see what value we have. So let's run that test and see what happens. Okay, it's compiling, and the test is running, and it failed, which is good, which was what we want. And here we can see um, the email address. Um, so I'll just put that in view. Um, so we have a, a clean email address that was created on demand, and we can use that in our code to send and receive email. So how do we do that? Okay. Well, so for the next part, we'll just uh, fix this test and say add mail slurp. That will fix the test. And now we want to send an email from the inbox. Okay, so we use the inbox controller and we say send email and then we pass in new send email options like that. Okay, and um, it looks like we need our first parameter to be the inbox ID. So let's use that. And then in the parameters, we're going to say two equals a list and we're going to put in the email address of the inbox itself we're just going to send it to itself this time and then we're going to fetch the email and read it so we'll put in um, subject uh, hello world like this and let's put in a body and say hello everyone and now we can send it using this method and let's just see if that functions when we run our test so we'll run the test again okay that's great so what we've done so far is we've created a new email address and we've sent an email from it. So how do we receive an email? So let's do that next. Um, what we're going to use is a wait for controller. This is a special feature in MailSlip that will allow us to um, wait for an email to arrive uh, in a particular inbox. This is really useful when we're writing tests or within applications because emails sometimes take a while to arrive and we want the server, we want the connection with the server to stay open until that email is fetched. Okay, so to get the actual email, why don't we say um, wait for controller, um, wait for latest email like this. And if we put in the uh, inbox ID, um, inbox.id like that, and we can pass in a timeout, and we're going to pass in 120,000, that's in milliseconds, and um, unread only true. So we're allowing two minutes for the email to arrive. It shouldn't take that long. And then afterwards, let's assert that 
the uh, email dot body um, dot body like this um, does contain and we'll put in hello. Great. Okay, so let's run this now and see if we can receive an email. Test is still running. It's probably waiting for the email to arrive. Let's just check that we sent it and the test passed. Great. Okay, so we have demonstrated now that you can create an inbox, send an email and receive that email using MailSerp. And what if you want to use your own SMTP client? Okay, so let's have a go at that as well. So a common library to use is um, MailKit. So we're going to import that now. We need to um, import a few packages for uh, MailKit. So we'll put those up here. Um, we're going to import uh, these packages here. Okay, so we want to create a new message. Um, and that is of a type uh, my message like this. Okay, and um, then we can say uh, message, we need to say new, and then we can say message dot um, two, and then add, and we're going to add in the new um, mailbox address, and we can say name is the inbox name, and email, oh sorry, address is the inbox dot email address. Okay, great. And then we need to add a from as well, so we're going to send from the same inbox, and we want to add a subject. Um, from SMTP like that and we'll add in a body now the body we're going to use a uh, content part type so we want to say new um, text part like this and we're going to send plain text you could also send HTML and other things like that attachments um, and we'll just say hello in SMTP plain text right okay so now we've got our my message we need to send it so with our mail kit, what we want to do is we want to configure a client and we want to configure the client to connect to the mail slurp inbox that we created. So to do that, we need to get the access details for that inbox. So above this um, message, I'm going to just um, create some access details. So we say access details equals inbox controller get IMAP access and then we pass in the ID like that. Okay, and this access details, it will provide us with a password, username, host, and port to connect to the server. So for the next part, um, we can say um, using, we're going to say create a client equals new SMTP client like, like this. Um, import the right one from MailKit um, and say using like that. Cool. Okay, so now we want to um, set up the connection. So we connect to the server and we want to say host um, access details um, we want to say secure SMTP server host okay so that's like the domain and we can add that for all the values we need so we need a um, secure port we need a use oh, we don't need a username at the moment We've got secure port and then we want a secure we want start T -t uh, TLS for our secure socket option. So the mail slip server uses um, start TLS and that's what we'll configure here. Next step is we want to enable the authentication mechanism. So we want to use plain authentication. That's one type that a server might use. So to ensure that happens, we want to just remove a few um, others. And I'm just going to copy in a bit of code here that will remove non-plain um, authentication types. So I've added an OAuth 2, CRAM, MD5, and login. We're just going to remove those to ensure that the plain authentication is used. Now, if I um, tell the client to authenticate, we can pass in a username and we're going to say access details.username, secure SMTP username, um, and we can pass a password as well. Um, so we can say access details.password, secure password, like that. Great. Okay. And now our next step is we want to actually um, send the message. So put the message in like that. And then we want to disconnect and we want to quit as well. So we pass in that true. Okay, so let's just have a look at what we've done here. We have used mail slurp to create an inbox and access the SMTP settings for that inbox. Then we have created a MIME message and we've set the um, to and from the subject and the body. The next step is we've created a client using the MailKit SMTP client and we've connected to our SMTP server using the access details we created. So on this next phase we have um, just disabled some forms of authentication depending on the mail server you're using you may need to do this. Um, we want to um, um, ensure um, plain auth is used 
And then uh, lastly, we authenticate with the server using the username and password. Then we send the message and disconnect afterwards. So um, why don't we just run this test and see what happens. At the end, um, if it works, it should still receive the, the message in the inbox just like before. So let's run that now. And it passed, amazing, okay. And it, the, it was questioning whether the body contained the word hello. Okay, so um, we do have hello in our body. Um, what if we just put something um, weird here so that we can catch it, uh, make sure that we are really testing this. Let's run it again and see what the message is inside the email. Okay, so here we can see in the failed test, it shows the message that we sent. So that's perfect. Um, the test failed like we wanted. So what we've covered so far is how to create new email addresses in C Sharp and then use them in a var variety of ways. So you can use mail slurp to send and also to receive emails using the wait for controller, or you can connect to a SMTP library like MailKit and then send your emails through that. So I hope that gets you started using mail slurp and email and C Sharp. Check out our YouTube channel at mail slurp and our documentation for more help. Have fun.